Welcome to this QuickBooks 2022 tutorial for beginners on how to create an estimate. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. First things first, hey, if this video is helpful, please share it. Please give it a thumbs up and like it. Uh, and also please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I can continue bringing these videos uh, as long as my subscriber base continues to increase. So I appreciate the subscription. Also, one other thing, when you're ready to take it to the next level and have your personal questions answered. Um, I know pretty much everybody watching these videos has questions about QuickBooks. That's why you're watching these videos. Head over to the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org. When you sign up for the master class, I answer your personal questions. Okay, so how to create an estimate. First of all, let's talk about when you're going to create an estimate. Now, if you're in a retail business or if there's some kind of point of sale gift shop, you know, something like that, you're not going to create estimates. You can just skip this video. You are going to create estimates generally when you have a job that you need to quote for somebody. So that could be a remodel job. It could be a landscaping job. It could be uh, construction. It could be, it could be any number of things, but it's going to be, Hey, I need to provide a quote for a customer and I need to send it to them. So this is a way to do this in QuickBooks. And then there's some nice features in here that we'll walk through that will uh, help you turn that into an invoice, uh, purchase order, etc. Okay, now that's when you're going to do an estimate in QuickBooks. It is a non-posting entry. So what that means is it's not going to affect your accounting records. It will not do anything in here. It's not going to record the numbers. It is what is called a non-posting entry. So you'll have a record of it and you can always go back to that record, but it's not going to affect your actual accounting records. So like sales and revenue and expenses and things like that. Okay. So here we are at the home screen. Very simple. We've got the flow chart and you can see here that we have this estimates button. All right. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on this and it's going to bring up a form which is very the very same format for a lot of forms in QuickBooks. So an invoice, purchase order, et cetera. They're all going to look like this. And they do this to make it simple for you to navigate. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick the customer job. So if this is a new one, you're, of course, going to add a new customer. And if there is a specific job, then you're going to create that job under that customer. So we're going to pick the job drop down menu here. We'll say uh, Mike. Block utility shit. We'll just assume this is a new one. Okay, so we choose Mike, and if you are class tracking, then you're going to choose a class. All right, so this is, uh, we'll say new construction. Custom estimate is the template. Of course, I've got other videos. You can set up your own templates on this. We've got the date, the estimate number, name and address, and ship to if there was a separate ship to address. Okay, so that's not entirely necessary. All right, so for, then you're going to go down, you're going to choose the items that are included in this estimate. All right, so when you set up all your different items from the item list, you're going to choose. So we're going to say, okay, first of all, we need some blueprints, and we're going to have one set of blueprints at $150. All right, and then we are going to say that we need concrete slab, and we'll say one. And is it, this is going to be $1,500 for this uh, shed. All right. And then we are going to say framing because we will have framing. And this is going to take 20 hours of framing, $55 an hour, $1,100. And if we need to add, let's see, uh, we're going to need some, we'll just say electrical. Okay, so we're going to have electrical and we'll say 15. All right, so it's going to be $3,125 to build this utility shed for Mike. Now, of course, you will have set up your items for taxable, non-taxable, etc. So that will default and pick this from your item list. All right, so we have our total, $3,125. And so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to say, okay, you know, depending on how you're going to send this estimate to Mike, you're going to either print and mail or you're going to email. You can email later. OK, so we're going to say that we're going to email this later. And that way, if we're doing a couple of different estimates, we can always go in and we can email all of them at one time. OK, so then 
what we're going to do, you just get hit save and close and save and new. Um, for the time being, uh, well, let me show you this. We're going to say save and close. All right, so we close this. Now, if you need to get back to your estimates, of course, you can just go to estimates and you can hit the find button or if it was just recent, you can just hit this back arrow. It's going to take you right to it. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Or what you can do, uh, if you go to the company menu, drop down menu, go to the chart of accounts, go all the way to the bottom. You're going to, uh, I meant estimates. Okay, so if we go through here, we'll see estimates. There is our estimate. All right, so we can double click this and it's going to pull up the estimate. Now, let's say you send the estimate, client, customer calls back, says, hey, this is great. Let's go with it. So what you want to do uh, when you are ready to, you can create a purchase order. So if you need to order any of these materials, uh, now labor and foundation, of course you wouldn't, but let's say electrical, you need to do a purchase order to the sub. Uh, you can click this and create a purchase order. If you need to create a sales order, okay, this, which is really kind of just like the next step from an estimate to a sales order, it means this is a booked sale that you haven't started yet. You can do that as well. And then if you need to just go and create an invoice, you can click create an invoice and you can say create an invoice for the entire estimate, hundred percent. You can do it for a percentage. Okay. Which is very handy when you are doing maybe a percentage billing. So if you're 25% through the project and you're going to bill, you know, 25% of it, you can do it this way. Uh, or you can create an invoice for selected items or for different percentages of each item. Okay, so for example, if you're going to bill for just the blueprints and the slab and not the other two, you can do that here. So we'll say uh, we're going to create for 25% of the estimate. We're going to click OK, and it's going to automatically convert that to an invoice. And you can see that it's 25%. Okay of each of the amounts that we had on there and it'll say 781.25 so then you can email this or print whatever you want to do and send this to the customer okay so it's pretty straightforward creating an estimate and it's it also creates a good trail okay so if uh you know you do estimates in your business and right now you're say doing them by hand or in another program get them into quickbooks because it allows you to track everything from start to finish for that particular job. Any comments, any questions, please feel free to leave those below. And also, again, head over to the QuickBooks University. Love to see you over there. Uh, that website is qbuniversity.org.